What if he doesn't text me back? There's nothing worse than being kind of left in that limbo space between you've sent him a message, you haven't heard back, and you don't really know what's going on. It's really the worst feeling. If it's over, you want to know, and if he wants to move forward, you want to know. It's just the not knowing that leaves us so empty. We're so used to now instantly getting information. As soon as you have a question, you can jump onto Google and find out the answer to anything. So we really have become a society dependent upon instant information, instant gratification. So when a guy doesn't text back, especially a guy you like, it can feel really rough. But I've got a few simple steps to help you get through this trauma and keep the relationship going. The most important thing is to keep it simple. And step one of that is don't panic. There are a million reasons why a guy might not text you back for a few minutes, a few hours. All sorts of things could happen. Maybe he got busy at work. Maybe he dropped his phone in the toilet. That happened to my friend just last week. She actually dropped her phone in the toilet. So I know it really happens. There could be any other possibility other than the fact that he suddenly decided he hated you. And the most dangerous thing you can do is overreact, send a message saying, why aren't you replying to my messages? Suddenly you sound needy and crazy when he was just in a meeting. The second step is to wait at least 24 hours. Anything can happen in 24 hours that can keep someone distracted, keep someone busy. Maybe someone needed to go to the hospital and he took them. Maybe his phone died and he can't find a charger. These things happen all the time in real life. It happened to me last week. My phone was dead for about eight hours. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't charge it one night. Next day it died and I didn't have time to get home. And of course, the friends I was spending the day with all had Google phones instead of iPhones. Nothing I could do. So you want to wait at least 24 hours, give it time to settle, give him a chance to actually answer you back, because anything could be happening. Step three is to send a ping text. What you want to do is send a little text to kind of test the waters. You don't want to send something really big and crazy. Why haven't you messaged you back? Where have you been? I've waited 24 hours. That's not the direction you want to go on. You want to send a simple three to five word text. And don't worry, at girlgetsring.com, we've got tons of ping texts that you can learn and show you exactly how to handle the situation if you need something word for word to send. The fourth and most important step is don't make a crucial mistake. There's a fatal mistake that people make all the time when they're texting. They get really worried, they say the wrong thing, and they don't even realize they're doing it. And don't worry, we're going to teach you all about that at GrowGetsRing.com. We've got tons of training and even more videos really digging into how to make sure you handle it when he doesn't text you back fast enough. So click the link below. We're going to teach you everything you need to know. Head over to Girl Gets Ring. We've got a link right here for you. We're going to help you deal with this texting issue, how to handle when he doesn't text right away, how to send the first text if you're tired of waiting, how to rekindle the romance with text. We cover everything you need to do to take your relationship and go all the way from hello to I do. We're here to help you. So head over to Girl Gets Ring now. I'm Jonathan Green, author of Girl Gets Ring, along with my buddy T-Dub, and you're going to love it. Spend a few minutes with us and we're going to help you take your relationship to the next level.